Hey everybody, welcome to the Raw Online Report. Today's guest, I saw this guy take the stage at the Chicago Pro last weekend in Atlanta. And from the minute he got on stage with all the other classic physique competitors, I knew he was going to win. Originally from Colombia, now living in Texas. Please welcome Darwin Andres Uribe. How are you? <laughs> I am good, man. I am good, man. And you? Thank yeah. you for having me in the channel for muscle development. That is a pleasure for me to be here with you. Yeah. So you look amazing, but nobody knew who you were. You were complete unknown. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into bodybuilding? Uh, yeah, nobody was knowing about me. Now it's like a, <laughs> I got receiving a lot of support and it's amazing. Yeah. Well, I started bodybuilding in 2012. So I haven't competing for nine years. Oh, wow. Okay, why, what made you start? Were you into uh, other sports? Were you an athlete? Local. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, I haven't training for 11 years and competing for nine. I had 28 years. Okay. Uh, I do maybe 16 amateur shows. I represent Colombia in the, in the world competition junior in Dominican Republic in 2016. Yeah. I, I do the Mr. Olympia amateur in Las Vegas in 2017, 18. Yeah. I do the Arnold Classic Europe in 2017. Okay. And I do the, I, I, I miss another one. I do the, yeah, I do the Mexico Super Show in 2019. Okay. Then, I always have been competing as bodybuilder, not as classic physique. Right, right. I was bodybuilder in the beginning, like heavy. Yeah. So, but in three years, I tried to, to, to win my pro card, but it didn't happen it's because my tall is 5A, and I always was competing with guys of 5'5, five, 5'4, five, five, when they were the same way. So, it was like the skinny guy on the stage. So, when I tried classic for first, that was in May, but shown it and I get second place oh. immediately of 20 competitors and that was in a competition in that show I do bodybuilding and classic you see that was my first competition white Patrick too the, who is my coach uh, but I didn't plan to do classic I was so loud in way for the conditioning yeah. that I entered in the class so I said to him hey I should try classy, and he say, "Well, you lying. I always told you, you are you lying. This is very classy. Why do you not try it?" Wow. I say, "Okay, let's do it." <laughs> so I try it, and I get second place, most of part because I was posting like a bodybuilder. Yeah. Then two weeks later, after that, it's like my cheat. I was in the center, in the first call out the whole time, and I didn't experience that in three years in bodybuilding. Wow. So when I, I see that, like, a, who, who, what's going on here? This is for me. Yeah. Then after that, I tried two weeks later in the Olympia Amateur Portugal. Oh. And we win my pro card. Oh, wow. Congratulations. We win my pro card. Congratulations. So what's 700, 700 athletes, uh, Europeans. I was the only Latin, honestly. Wow. Hmm. Only 20, only 20 win pro card. And I win mine. And I okay, get Patrick. In that time is when I meet Patrick in person because he lives in Italy. Uh, and he was there in Portugal with Florian Porson and another two athletes and me. Yeah. And then that's my second competition as classic PC. I win my pro car. Yeah. That was 2018? My, 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 my third one, okay. 2019. 2019. 2019. After that, I realized I can have 12 pounds uh, more of muscle as pro. Because in Portugal, I, my weight was 179. It's really small. Yeah. 179 pounds is nothing. It's skinny. No. So I can have, <laughs> so I can have 192 as pro. Yeah. So I take it two years off for money, personal stuff. Coming to live to USA was hard. Completely alone here. My family is in Colombia. All my friends in Colombia. And it was really hard the journey when I come to USA as immigrant. It's, it's really hard. Yeah. Being a new country by yourself, and then I stopped training for seven, eight months with the COVID and all that stuff. Oh, geez. personal problems. <clears throat> it was eight months where I was looking like 
I have belly. Wow. <laughs> I okay. was having belly. I can I can show you the chains later if you want. I don't believe uh, it. <laughs> I don't believe yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically, I back to training exactly one year ago. Wow. And my third competition as a Class C was the Chicago Pro, and I qualified wow. to the Olympia. And that was your so first only, your first pro show, right? Exactly. Yeah, wow. that's my wow. debut. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, let, let's back up. What made you start bodybuilding? What made you want to become a bodybuilder? Well, that, that well, I didn't think when I was young. I didn't think when I was teenager. I didn't didn't compete. I huge was obese when I was. You were 15. fat. Yeah, wow. I was really fat. Wow. I, had, I was having 40, 40, 40 pounds overweight. I was obese, really obese. Wow. And I was feeling so bad being like that. So I, I, I remember that moment very well. I, I remember I wake up one morning and I say, no, I don't want to look like this. Mm. And then I start to train, to train, to train. And after three years training is when I do my first competition local that I guess second place. Yeah. So when I start to training, I love more training, compete for me. I love compete too, but I love more training. I mean, for me, training is a therapy because uh, life in Colombia is not an easy, you know? So uh, I was, instead of being a guy of party and drugs, I, per I choose the way of war and training. Sometimes I was training two times a day. Wow. With OB bodybuilder, I use, was challenging myself. I like the challenge when you are training, when you feel the pain, how much you can handle, if you want more, if you want more. So I really enjoyed that, I really enjoyed that. So that's when I start to change, when I start to do training. And then I, I, I was always a good student. I had scholarship in mechanic industry, hmm. but I used a lot, I start to be, to lose uh, in the school attention you know yeah so the first two three years i didn't do i didn't do, i didn't know anything about diets hmm. i was training but i was eating normal and i see change but know how i would want it for had three years of training right. then after that is when i start to do diet first way nutrition is but you realize that nutrition is they only care about your health you know about you had three percent of fat level for competition. <laughs> yeah, they don't. <laughs> it's completely different. It's right. completely different. Yeah. And when I then in two thousand uh, three years later, I meet my first coach. Uh, he is Colombian. Yeah. And two years later, I, I was competing against him, and I went. <laughs> I, I beat him too. And you beat your so, coach. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was really awesome. Uh, wow. I, I was. I always put um, like a. <clears throat> Like a goal, and I go why everything until it's done. I, I not talk too much. I, I really know not being a guy who, oh, look at me, do this. I even sometimes train why hold this, you know? But when social media become to be so important for the marketing, for the industry, when I start to show more, but it was for me, I stay cover the whole preparation. Wow. <laughs> I like it, that style. I like it, that style. I am wow. like that. Yeah. I just go to do what I like, what I had to do, and that's it. So basically, I start bodybuilding because I was really obese. Wow. Huh. Really obese. How much did you weigh? You were 140 pounds overweight, you said? Uh, when I was obese? Yeah. I was having uh, 16 years old. And my tall at that, at that time was 5'6", five, 5'5". Five, 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 yeah. five. Yeah. And I was weighing like a one... I was wearing 80, 80 kilograms in pounds. That's like a 170. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, you weren't uh, huge. I, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was so huge. I was, and I would, I was so huge, but more in the mid session. Not belly, like I have yeah. very big legs. Yeah, exactly. It's a big belly. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so it was really hard for me. A lot of bullying in the school, as you can imagine, all that stuff. So I just, Start to train, and when I start, and I, when I see, honestly, when I see first, first, first pictures of bodybuilders, I remember it was Ronnie Coleman in the gym, yeah. and Lee Priest. Yeah. And I didn't feel gross. I didn't feel gross when I see that. I just <laughs> think, wow, that, that will be a lot of fucking war. <laughs> but, but I didn't feel like, oh, no, it's gross. I don't want, no, I didn't feel that. Yeah. That is, at first, when I start to get more into it, more into it, 
And um, well, I, I, I didn't give up for three years to win my pro Carlos body, which uh, I just was in the in the in, in the no correct category, you know. Right. Because when classic comes, I, I have my friends telling me, hey, you should do classic. That's more for you. You should. Yeah. I say, no, no, I like more the adrenaline of bodybuilding. Why they were the older guy right there. But you have to be smart too, you know. So yeah. Because I mean, and I, I, I mean, and when I went with, I mean, it's my huge third competition as classic PC, and I am going to the Olympia. So yeah. it's really exciting. I still can't believe that, you know. I still like a processing everything. Nobody know who was Darwin until yeah. until Chicago Pro. It's, only it's... gods. <laughs> only, it... only only oh my only, my, only Michael Johansson, who is the CEO of Gaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paris. Yep. He see he see me for first time in September, uh, and we talk as friends. He's really he's like a father to me and. Mm. He, I didn't ask to him like, hey, I want to be, because at the moment I know what's really good position mentally and physically. I just about to train and I only have a three months training after the stopper. Yeah. And I know one to waste his time and my time and not do good because I always think if you want to do something, you do good, you do anything. No, no, no medium, you know, no mediocrity, so. Right. But, and he, he only he and a small group in destination Dallas, you know. <laughs> and when I start prayer, I, I start by a bull season by lean, slow, quality. Yeah, but I do that by myself. Then I contact Patria again because Patria is very serious. I know one waste his time. Like, hey, I am going to compete, and after no, if I don't feel ready, you know, I respect his word. And, after I said to him, hey, I want to do my debut in Chicago and Tampa. And he told me, okay, send me, who, send me some pictures and see how you look. And I sent pictures and because I was 200, it was 205. I was 205, but I know it was fat. I was good yeah. looking big. And then he said, yeah, let's start it. You have eight weeks. We make it a progress in eight weeks. He posts wow. progress in his profile. But yeah. so many people don't believe that it was only in eight weeks. <laughs> It was a whiz because I, I understand that I believe that if you want that really freaky conditioning, you have to you have to back to the basics. Mm -hmm. Use water, plenty, salt. No, right now in the marketing is a lot of stuff, sugar free, zero calories. But if you can see that how artificial flavors, all that stuff and at some point, when 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 it comes to professional competi competitions, any anything any change can make a difference, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I do my basically my whole press so lean, very lean exactly. Mm -hmm. Eating so, with, eating without mustard, without ketchup. Oh that. wow, jeez, everything plain. So, wow. <laughs> I, wow. Dude. Yeah, but I just oregano. That's no. <laughs> oregano. Yeah, I mean mustard. <laughs> mustard's got like almost no calories though. You can have mustard. I know that, I know that but uh, if you see the quality of my skin, it's very yeah, very thin. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I I was try to keep like that, you know. So and Patrick say if you can use less stuff, it's so much better. Yeah. So I say whatever it takes for the win, you know. I know mine. Yeah. After competing, when I eat barbecue, at least for my <laughs> guys, <laughs> it was really good. So yeah, it's basically that's why you start. Yeah. Patrick's a really good coach. He works with Ian Valier. He works with James Hollington. Yeah, yeah. People, yeah. Um, uh, right, right, yeah. You're He's in the, awesome coach. Yeah. Who? He was. He was. He was in the in the day show in the Chicago. He was staying late until I finished to compete. Oh, because he lives in Italy. So when I finished to compete, that was like 8 p.m. Yeah. In Italy, it's probably 4, 5 in the morning. He wow. was staying out until I finished. Wow. I was feeling like he was there with me. Yeah. And when, when he win, when we he win, won the broker in Portugal, I stayed in the same hotel. And he checked my body every two meals hmm. the last four days. And wow. probably the next ones. He, he's very, <laughs> he's probably, he's, He's the best for me. He's the best, yeah. especially as person. He's he works with you mentally too. He's he push you, but he push you because he knows you can do it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's awesome. He's awesome coach. So um, what made you choose Dallas, Texas of all the places in America? Why did you move to Dallas? Well, it's a long story. Eh? When I come to US, I was living in Miami. Okay. Yeah. I was living in Miami where there is the, all the Latin scones, basically. Yeah. And there you, you can feel some part body building, but it's Miami, you know? So, uh, I mean, I don't feel attracted to be in part, even in off season, I drink, who take drugs. In off season, I was, my off season is eat more. That's my party, eat more. Go to Twin Lakes <laughs> and after go to a buffet, all you can eat, that's my party, honestly. So <laughs> then I meet, I meet a, a person and that person was living here in Dallas. So I moved to Dallas for big clothes of that person. Okay. Thing. So that's basically what I what I finished in Dallas. Hmm. After I meet her and I come to live here because of her. And then I, I, I meet Destination Dallas. When I see Destination Dallas for first time, yeah. I see men and women so big. Mm. Yeah. I was like, huh. what the fuck? Everyone's serious here bodybuilding. Yeah. Everyone is so completely different to other places in, in USA. Everyone is so training heavy. I mean, right now in Destination Dallas, we, we train four classic pro physics. Wow. Tony, hmm. Tony, Divine, Courage, Opara, and me. And all of you are part of the team, Gabs. Oh, yeah, Keon, because Keon lives there now, right? And yeah, yeah, I train, I train wow. like Keon too. Yeah. Wow, that's right. Wow. We, we usually, we, Basically, we, we train the last Monday after flight, yeah. And we have a, we have a workout tomorrow too for guys. Oh <laughs> yeah, like he's he's really nice guy. Yeah. So yeah, here in Dallas, they take it more serious, like a bodybuilding, it's a lot of competitors, Branch Warren, Johnny Jackson, you know, all the guys. So when I go to destination and I see Stick Kuklo, Franz Warren, well, like uh, <laughs> he, here is the place. Here is the place I had to be here. If you want to be one of the best you be to be around of the best. You see Hunter training sometimes there, oh, yeah. all these guys. So it's like, you know, I, I, I had to be here. And yeah. that's basically why, why I stay here. And in the beginning, I didn't talk why anybody didn't have any plan here. Right now I have completely family, nice gaps, the, the whole destination Dallas. They believe in me since, uh, since I started when nobody was know who I am. Yeah. So I train there day, daily, every day, do my fast cardio and in the afternoon I do my weights, hmm. you know? So that's what I choose Dallas. Okay. Uh, when I finish that relationship, I still stay in Dallas because hmm. my purpose to come to USA, it was for my career as athlete. I always believe that since I start, and since I start bodybuilding, I haven't always listened to people telling me, hey, you lines, you lines is, it's beautiful, your line is beautiful. So sometimes you don't believe in yourself, you doubt, you know, mm -hmm. it's normal. But when, when you realize and when you work hard and when you see that people really appreciate you, how you work, you act, and that uh, you start to look like, oh, that's me. That's... Yeah. When I see the pictures of Chicago, I say, oh, fuck, that's me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, so like a... it's, it's hard to believe you were, you were bodybuilding while there were still classic because if I had been at a contest where you were competing as a bodybuilder, I would say that guy should do classic. Look at that. That is an awesome classic physique. Yeah. What is he, why is he in bodybuilding? You know? Um, That's what I listened the whole time in, in the last three years, what I tried in bodybuilding yeah. in international competition, like the Olympia Amateur in Vegas. I was in the third Kalao. Yeah, you know? I mean, because- third Kalao. And all these guys are so, so man's insane. monster. You know, classic I mean, is not like about a, like this. Classic is not about being a big freak. You know, you're yeah. you're five, you said you're five eight. Five eight, yes. Yeah, there's guys five eight who are competing at like two fifty. You know, two sixty. But you know, you have such a great tiny little yeah, waist, yeah. tiny joints, waist. everything just round muscle bellies. It's uh, I I'm, I'm I think you're going to actually do very well at the Olympia this year. I think you're you're going to surprise a lot of people at the Olympia. But uh, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, classic. When, when I, oh yeah, we're gonna yeah, be there. Of course, we're gonna be there. <laughs> that's it. That's good. That's good. When I when I finish the Chicago, yeah. and I come to the audience, the audience, uh, 
immediately Milo starts and Sean Ray come to me, uh, make the interview, uh, and beat of five. Like, uh, you can beat the five, the Olympic Joe. Uh, is it serious this? I mean, I he's going to be my first pre show, my first pro show, and they telling me that. Yeah. This is a lot of motivation. Like, when I see the comment of Lee Honey in my, my photo, I will be probably, yeah. uh, he say, when, I, when that guy step on stage, I know immediately, immediately he is going to win. He got the contract podcast and when i read that it's like oh, yeah. this is this is wow you know yeah i mean and you are telling me that so it's like a oh, yeah. well a year ago well not less than a year ago the chicago pro in 2020 a guy named uh brian jones he calls himself lord jones yeah, he won he, he won the show i never heard of him nobody had ever heard of him but as soon as he walked out there were 30 guys in the classic pro class last year in chicago as soon as he walked out, it was like, that's the winner right there. And I bet he's going to be top five at the Olympia. And he did. He won. And he, I think he was fourth or fifth. I think he was fifth. At he, the had, he was fifth. He was yeah, fifth at yeah, the Olympia. So, yeah, yeah. But, he's, that, yeah. but we are completely different bodies. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, so yeah. talented. He's so talented. And he's, he's so hot, so much muscle. Those guys, everyone in the Olympia is it's another level, you know? Yeah. 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 So it's like a... Yeah, I know who he is. He did really well. He had a very good physique. I admire and I respect all these guys on the Olympia. They are Olympians, you know. Yeah. I think he's, I think he's Darwin, starting in bodybuilding, in, in classic physique, the pro pro league, you know. Yeah. But I know, I know, feel less. I, I know, I don't, I know, feel, I know, feel more, more. I know, feel less than them. Yeah. You understand? I, I know, I can, I can. I know I can make it a day battle too, you know. So and I will. Yeah. The, the, the really cool thing about classic, it's it's so new. It's a new division, and every year we got guys like you, guys like Byron. They they surprise us, and and they they are very good from the get go. You know, in open bodybuilding, we get like a maybe one or two guys a year that we weren't expecting, but it's rare. At the Mr. Olympia level, it's mostly the same guys in the top five, top six for years and years. But classic, it changes all the time. Yeah, and, right. there's, and there's different looks. You know, your look is different from yeah, that's right. From Bumstead, from Breon, from Terrence Ruffin, uh, from Alex Cumbernero. There's a lot of different classic looks, and they're all good in their own way. So I think that's that's why it's probably to me the most exciting division, classic physique. This is that's so, what I so hear, and that's what I hear in Chicago. Like uh, the battle, why they two and me. Yep. Um, he's from Tunisia. He's a really nice guy too. Yep. He they make use of squeeze a lot, flex a lot, a lot. Yes. I, yeah. I, I was really enjoying. I was really enjoying. I, I remember in some point Steve asked, "You guys okay?" Yeah. And I say, <laughs> "Let's do it. Yeah, Let's yeah, continue." Yeah. It was I worked so hard. I'm not going to relax right now. You know. Yeah. And I hear was the most excited because of open the big the big boys. They are. <laughs> When I see the contest, it was really good. But like in the top five, the Olympics are the same guys. It's like yeah. nobody comes new to choke. Like a, like a Lawrence do the last year. He come from anywhere and immediately top five at the Olympia. Yeah. And it's a lot of complete. All these guys have classic bodies, but all these guys have different bodies. Yeah. Yeah. You it's, know? So, it, it, it's, it's crazy because it's they're so different. You know, Lord Jones... Bumstead, Breon, Ruffin, Cumbernero, you, it's all yeah. completely different. Whereas the open guys, you I don't want to say they all me. look alike, but there's a lot of similar physiques in the open. You are comparing me right then. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> you are including me. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I think you're going to be up there. You know, if I wouldn't even, if I didn't think you were going to do well at the Olympia, I wouldn't even mention the Olympia. I would just leave it out of the conversation. But you know, everybody was that. everybody was very impressed with you because it looked that way. Just certain poses you hit. To me, you look like Frank Zane with better legs, with bigger legs. That that's how I described you in my. I, I hear I hear that, I hear I hear that comment like four yeah. times already. And he was like awesome. Frank, Frank Zane was yeah. incredible. <laughs> yeah, he, he was awesome. Yeah, 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 that's true. Who uh who in classic? Which pros in classic now do you think are really great that you uh are inspired by? Uh, who, who competitors I think are very well. 
Yeah, who do you who do you respect the most in classic? What physiques do you uh, do you admire the most that are competing right now at the Olympia level in classic? Well, of course, the champ Chris Bonstein. Yeah, yeah, he had a really good body. His conditioning is really good. From one to five, I mean, I think from one to ten, all of them have condition. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, but so when the point when it comes to the point that everyone has conditioning. It's like a, now who have better lines. Mm, mm. And that's like a most generic thing, generic, you know. So that I, I admit a lot of Chris Bonston, Ruth Diesel, yeah. Brian, Brian Asley, right. that guy when he get dry, fuck, it's, it's right. another level. It's another level. This guy, Brian Norris, he looked really good. He looked really good. Yeah. I mean, I, Basically, for me, all of them, yeah. <laughs> all of them. Eh? Well, like a half, Cambron, eh? Cambronero también. Don't forget Alex. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cal, 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 Cal Cambronero is Latin. He's Latin. Uh, he had really ways so tiny too. Yeah. He had. He had. I I know him for first time in 2018 in the, the Dragons Lair Gym. Oh, but wow. that time, I, I, yeah, I, I had a conversation with him you know, that year. But at that time, I didn't win my pro career, you know, mm -hmm. so, yeah. and he was at that time 212. Right, when right. he moves to class, he was really good, make him better because he had a very classy body too. Yeah. So like I respect a lot all the two fire of the Olympia. I was, even, uh, actually, I was watching the Olympia last night. Oh, 2020. Wow. A replay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, wow, I am going to be here. I had to work a lot, especially when my posing, I, I know I can't be better, so. Yeah, all these guys, I have my respect and admiration for them, you know. Yeah. They was motivation for me. They are motivation for me, for work hard. But I always try to beat myself. Yeah. I'm not thinking in beat them. Of course, they are my competition. But I always try to overcome my last, my last version, you know. So, yeah. yeah. So, what do you think you need to be better at? How can you improve? What are you looking to what are you looking to improve? Maybe not the Olympia is pretty close, but after that, what are you going to be working on to be, you know, you want to win the Olympia. Everybody wants to win the Olympia. What do you think you still need? Uh, well, for me, more realistic and for know that better, immediately after the show, I asked to state what I need yeah. to get better. Best opinion, you know, as to the head judge. Sure. And he, he say, he, he say, your legs are great, your ways are great, you have really good balance and symmetry. If you want to grow, you want to grow equal, equal right now. Mm. You can you can't focus in any specific mm. part of your body because now everything is, is good, it's perfect. So balance, yeah. if I need you to get something better, I just need, he tell me, I just need you be, you, you back more wide. Okay. So we are working in that right now, like uh, try to make my, my bar more, a little bit more wide because the, the thickness is good a little bit more wide. Yeah. So if I make it more, my bar more wide, my waist is going to look more and small. Yeah. So that's what I need to get better. Does, uh, does Patrick, yeah. does, Patrick uh, yeah, handle your, right does Patrick give you your workouts too or just handle your diet? He give me, uh, he give me the diet and he give me how do my workout. But I, I, well, right now he give me a specific exercise for back. But before that, he he, he was give me the methods for for worker for for training. But I choose the exercise because he knows that I was training really hard. I mean, I don't go to the gym and I I don't train one hour honestly. Especially on leg day, I take it two hours, two hours and a half sometimes. <laughs> it's just, it was for me, I do legs three times a week, but I can't. You do th legs yeah. three times a week? It was for me, if I can. Wow. <laughs> it, it was because I really enjoy it. That's yeah. what, that's, I do that for many years. Yeah. And that's why when I win my pro car, my upper body was too small for mm -hmm. my lower body. So in those two years, I tried to make my upper body better. Because I was having really bad arms. I always love training legs and shoulders. Yeah. So I know I was having good arms, good back. Mm -hmm. So still I had to work in that, like uh, making more biceps, more peak. Yeah. More in peak and my back more wide. Yeah. It had good details. As you see, I had the Christmas really good. 
the crazy. Oh yeah, dude, you were in your condition was yeah, your condition was just perfect, perfect, dry, Thank you. shredded. Thank yeah. you, I appreciate it. And the yeah. funny thing is that Patrick and me know that we know was in my one hundred percent because really? hmm. because I just had twelve hours for carb up. Hmm. I yeah. had to make a way, and after the way, the prejudging was the next morning. Right. The way was in the afternoon, so I only had 14 hours for carb up. Hmm. And, and we can't we can push too much food immediately. It had yeah. to be slowly, slowly, so we need at least two days. How much time do you, you have at the, at the Olympia? How much time are you going to have? Do you know? For carb up, two days. Oh, you have two days? Okay, so you'll be... Yeah. So you'll weigh in yeah. at 192. You'll probably be like 196 uh, or 200, 200. On, stage. <laughs> on a stage. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because in two, on a stage, this, this, this in Chicago Pro, I was only one, 193. Yeah. Okay. 193, 194. And then it's sad. The, the, after the Chicago Pro, yeah. everything was closed. The restaurants, everything. <laughs> So I say, okay, everything is close. I am going to eat what I crave it. And I just go to Kroger and I buy barbecue sauce and I was eating after compete and I yeah. buy one roll of sushi from Kroger, but that, that sushi. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Like everything a, was closed. Piece that's of too rice early. Yeah. I can't believe yeah, everything was closed that early. Bullshit. So honestly, <laughs> no people believe, but, uh, what I usually cry in after compete is the same diet, but the volume, the volume. It's more clean. The food. volume is the thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I know I didn't eat pizza or I didn't no? eat any. No, I didn't eat pizza. No, I know one the indigestion after compete. I hate that. Especially because I had to care of my waist, my stomach right. to keep it tight, you know. So I you see more rice. I like a, maybe the rice cakes, white peanut yeah. butter, almond butter, cashew butter. Yeah. Because Patrick cooked me the peanut butter. I, he cooked me the oatmeal. We was eating the same breakfast, the whole preparation of rice and protein. So I love oatmeal. And the next morning I was eating 100 grams of oatmeal of breakfast. And the next morning I was doing pasta cardio for one hour. Wow. See? All the other guys were out there eating pancakes and bacon and oh, God. No, I know what's in Idaho. I, I, I use was do one hour fast the cardio dream chain and 20 minutes later 100 grams of like one banana eggs and beef and i cook i like it to cook and i care about how i cook especially at the point where you where where you was eating the same thing for months mm. you can eat something outside and you know you don't know how they cook and you can get sick you can get indigestion and i hate that i hate that so I prefer, I know, I, no bothers me to cook, to cook after, after competing, honestly. Right. Especially because I know like a trash food and I was having a lot of food in the hotel. So I say, hey, let's go into this food, you know? So back in your old days when you were competing in bodybuilding, did you used to eat all the junk food right after the show? Like most oh, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. In the first competitions, oh, oh yes. It hurts. Your stomach is so Yeah, oh. I, I just remember in the first two competitions in my life, I was... 30 pounds three days later. Yeah. I, I, I didn't come breathe. breathe. Well, okay. yeah, yeah. I was I was having for breakfast pizza the next morning. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I passed for that, that, that times already. already. Yeah. That, that's the first competition. I think that's normal in every competition. It is, but some guys have to go to the hospital because of that, because they hold so much water, you know, and like their blood pressure goes too high and it's dangerous to do that. It really yeah, is. yeah. It's, it's really dangerous. And yeah, I, that happened the first two, three, maybe the first two years competing. I was uh, competing for a year now. Yeah. So maybe the two years, I was like that. Wow. <laughs> I, so, I, I was sick, basically. I, I become, I make, yeah, I was sick after competing. I was sick of a lot of food and it didn't kind of stop. But, but then my mentality was getting more mature. Yeah. I appreciate the hard, work, the hard work, what you do for months, only for losing one week, feeling like a ball of water. It is so sick, no. So Bloated. and I was I was I was looking that my, my stomach start to get bigger and I say no 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 I can't do this. I don't want to be a bodybuilder where I deep early. I respect all that, but that's how I don't want to look, you know. I could ask you, well, how small is your waist when you're in contest condition? I never measure my legs, honestly. 
No, your waist, your waist. My waist, how, how small? How small? 28 inches, 27 inches? Honestly, I didn't measure my, my waist. I'm I don't know. Okay. I'm I don't gonna know say, how I'm gonna idea. say 28 inches, maybe smaller, maybe smaller. Yeah. I don't have idea, but in cardio, I always put, uh, I don't know how to say in English. The, well, the, waist, the, the waist trainer, we call them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when I am training ways, I use my belt from the beginning until the end. Huh. From beginning until the end. Yeah. From beginning, it doesn't matter if it's light, say, heavy, say, from the beginning until the end. Always for many years. I, hmm. I never train without belt, never, never, never. Yeah. Especially when you don't, when you don't legs, no, no way. Yeah. People get mad. Say, "Why you don't need a belt for this? You don't need a belt for them." Like, yeah, why, yeah. why do you care if somebody wears a belt? Just don't don't worry about them. You worry about you. Stop. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I also do. I train. I train abs four times a week. Okay. Yeah. Cool. One day yes, one day no. One day yes, one day no. I always yeah. do abs like that. Yeah. And you know, I start to practice the vacuum. Yeah. The vacuum, but I was talking with. I can, and can. You don't need to do back on for look good, honestly. Mm. Because for me, it's hard to do it. I mean, yeah. I can do it, but not too deeper, like a Chris Bonston or like right. a. But I, I, when I, when I try to do it, I see myself. I, some back ones look good, some back ones not look good. You know that? Yeah. So it depends on like people, your rib cage and stuff. It's it's yeah. Not everybody yeah. looks good doing a vacuum. Some like Breon really doesn't. Bumstead does. It doesn't matter. It's not a mandatory pose. Yeah, it's not mandatory. So I can say, well, my. I use to keep you in positions, post to post. You see that some guys realize, and when you see they, they from the side, they look like a white belly, you know, yeah. because they, they can keep it tight, the mid session the whole time, and the judge look at them. Right. They break up on me. You know, froze. When you you do the transition from from Dubai to can look white best, what I the back on so for for keep my waist tight, you know. Yeah. So and Darwin, that's, are, that's what I usually do. You're already are you you're already at the top of the class. You're 192 pounds, right? When you weigh in. Right now my weight is 202. Well, I mean you, but it's it's you're at, when you weigh in, you're right there at 192. You don't have any more room to spare, right? Yeah, that's what I told to Stephen. I mean, like I was 191. And weigh in, and yeah. my weight limit one ninety two. So, so you can't gain to... much more muscle, or else you're gonna grow. Yeah. you're gonna not gonna make weight. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're trying to do everything as much. I start my prep for the Olympia Tuesday. Okay, already, and from Tuesday Monday I was waiting because the fly because I even burger outside. I'm not gonna lie, I even burger outside because the last dinner. I didn't eat a burger from a, from a restaurant in a lot of months. Wow. <laughs> and when I eat that, I gain digestion for four hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sit in your belly. Only why a burger. Why I accuse a burger. You can imagine if I eat a pizza, white cheese. <laughs> oh, man. I will be go to the hospital. So <laughs> that, that sodium from that burger yeah. made me like that. So oh, yeah. it, Monday, I was, Monday, I was 208 pounds. Wow. It's a lot of water. <laughs> it's a lot of water. And after the fly, right back to Texas, it was more. And right now, in the in these last two days, yeah. I lose already seven pounds. Just water. It's so, just water. Yeah, I am getting to to be. I am still in drying again. Yeah. Yeah. You look. You look almost as lean as you were on stage right now. So. Yeah. I, just... <laughs> I, 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 I see really clean as I can be. Honestly, the last four or five years. I mean, you. I think you. I think that you are professional is because you it's not because the broker it's because your mentality how you think how you take it serious this is for you know yeah, you treat it like a job yeah exactly yeah. so yeah right now i am 202 so we have a little space to grow but here's a little yeah. so we have to do really smart put one one pound on each lap on the side and you're good <laughs> <laughs> one pound of more yeah right there on the lat. so right you can see you know that on a stage yeah, yeah, because honestly, if you compare me two years ago, I exactly compete with 12 pounds more. Hmm. Wow. I compete 179. That was my limit, my weight limit when I win my pro car. Right. And I compete at Chicago Pro with my weight limit too. And wow. it's two, two, 
and it's 12 pounds of difference. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, yeah. it was really good, but I, I know even do a bull season. I say, I am going to be off season for those two years, eating a lot of food, no? I used to stop for 28 months, and when I back, I just try to recover my shape and lose fat first. Then I do a bull season with quality, the most lean, what I can, and then I start preparation. Yeah, well, Darwin, it worked because man, you were the talk. You were the talk. Once you came out in classic, that guy was that guy's gonna win. That guy, who is this guy? We all had to look at the score sheets. Says Darwin Andres Uribe, Colombia. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. But he's yeah, gonna yeah, he's gonna yeah. win. I know this guy's gonna win today. And uh, I appreciate I, that. I appreciate uh, that support. So, yeah. yeah so. You, when I hear that, like a, <laughs> right now, I I have my Instagram blowing up. I try to replay. <laughs> To reply to everyone, but it's hard. It's hard, it's hard you know. Yeah, I mean, but I, I like I like it because I mean, every person thinks takes time for write your something. So I got to find your Instagram for everybody. I want to make sure they get to the right Instagram. Yeah. Let's get you some more followers. Let's see how many you have right now, Darwin. Uribe, it's Uribe underscore Darwin. Everybody, it's his last name. Uribe, U R I B E underscore Darwin. Fifty five point yes. four. Oh, that's going to be double that. You're going to have a hundred k by the Olympia. I guarantee you. Guarantee. Well, I I, I win like a six thousand in the last three days. Yeah, I mean that's, that's really good. It's really good. Because people yeah. want to know. People want to know who you are. Now they want to see some pictures, some videos. So yeah, keep posting. Post some. Post a lot of content. And you're, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Are, you a ga- you're, are you a gas athlete too? Better bodies. Yeah, yeah, I'm a gas athlete. Oh. Yeah. Nick Del Toro, do a video. Do some videos with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I had a yeah pro video part of us. Yeah, we make some videos before compete. Okay. Before compete, I had like a two videos, but because nobody know who was like a, right now, they make a, even a last video like a, a int- intro of everything. Yeah, if you can see, it's in his channel of I don't work, and it's, I was I was crying in the video. It's, I, I can't control it. I was so emotional. So yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know I, I I am not afraid to be who I am to be real. No, I mean, why would, why should, you, you shouldn't have so to be afraid. They make a, a good one and people like it a lot. No, That's no, no, I never, never. I, I want to show myself yeah. like I am. I don't need to pretend be something where I am not, you know? So, right. yeah, they make that last video and it was really good. People like it. People like it a lot. That's on the and gas, yeah. on the gas YouTube channel? Is that where it yeah, is? Yeah, the, the name of gas in YouTube is Iron World. Iron World. Iron World. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Awesome. Check it out, everybody. I'm going to check it out. Cool. Well, Darwin, put uh, my Instagram too. Yeah, we'll put your Instagram on this, of course, too, because you need people need to know more about you. But uh, yeah, so I just want to say congratulations, very well done. You know, you're already one of the best pros in classic physique. And a week ago, I'd never heard of you. I had no idea who you were. <laughs> never heard that name in my life. But now, Darwin Uribe, I know who you are. Everybody's going to know your name. Yeah. So best of luck Thank over you. the next few weeks for your first Olympia, Mr. Olympia. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a great yeah, show yeah. in Orlando. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have fun. I, I am even more focused on my, a lot of motivation right now. Right now, I have support of a lot of people. The whole Colombia is writing to me. I am the only Colombian going to the Olympia. So wow. It's, wow. it's awesome, man. It's, I, and I'm, I am the second in the story of the country going to the Olympia. The first one is Fernando Chala. He's an NPC. Yeah, yeah. I remember. And I am the second right now. But I am the first class, if you see, Colombian. So I only know three Olympia. cities. I know Medellin, Bogota, and Cali. Are you from one of those? Yeah, Medellin. Medellin. I'm from Medellin. All right, cool. Yeah, that's the best city. Yeah. Of course, you. Of course, it's the city you're from. It's got to be the best. So, all right. Well, best of luck over the next few weeks. Congratulations again. I appreciate, it, man. I you're appreciate. Already, it. you're an amazing new pro in classic, and uh, I'm going to be watching your progress. And I wish you the very, very best. So, I appreciate all the support from you, muscle development. Happy to be here in this interview. Oh, I, uh, I want to thank you to Gas, Michael Johansson, he's awesome. And thank you to everybody for the support, what I see every day. I really appreciate that. It's a lot, it's a lot of motivation, you know? So thank you to, to all people and God bless you all, you know? All right, well, everybody, thanks for watching Ron Line Report with this awesome new Class of Physique Pro, Darwin Uribe. You'll see him on stage in Orlando, Florida at the Mr. Olympia competition on October, was it 7th? It's coming up. 7th, yeah. yeah. It's coming up very, very soon, oh, guys. Yeah. It's going to yeah, be a good yeah. one. So that's it's it. 10 weeks. Yeah. That's it, guys. Thanks Less for watching. Less than 10 weeks, yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. Have we'll a good day. S- we'll see you next time.
Bye-bye.